plan on how to build future Indian cities. Uh, how to manage the economy of nations, how to manage the development of the nation, how to deal with the national calamities. How dare you? Hiya guys, I'm back. I remember my name? Right, it's me, Sidi. Today, in this series of intellectual entertainment, we bring a new book titled Future India, written by Mr. Aris Peter. We have invited him here with us today. Mr. Aris is an engineering graduate in city and fire engineering from Cochin University, an MBA in corporations management from IGNOM. He has worked as city engineer, fire engineer, and software engineer in India and UAE. He has been studied about the development of Indian cities, villages, and entire system for many years. In his book, Future India, he has explained a master plan on how to build future Indian cities along with engineering drawings and his creative ideas. Now, Neil will take over the interview. I will just sit and watch. Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel of Intellectual Entertainment by Neil Madhav Kalyan. So now, we are meeting today to Mr. Arise Peter from Kerala, India. He is our good friend and author of the book Future India. How are you Nilesh? I am good. How is the weather there? You are very yeah, near the seashore, really right? Yeah, here. Little bit of rainy <laughs> here, but weather is all fine. Okay. And you are looking good too. Yeah, so, thank you so much. You are too. For our audience, we will start with the first question of the day about your book, Future India. So, Mr. Arise, actually I should ask you, how dare you? You are not a collector, you are not a politician. Then why you should why you think that you can go for planning a nation planning of cities why basically i am an engineer by profession uh, maybe that is the biggest quality i am having in, for writing this book and also I, I was working in dubai so that time i have studied a lot about how the how dubai have become a developed country country so i have intensively studied uh, those things uh, in while i was in dubai also, I have learned so many uh, things from so many books related to development uh, and also I have done many courses, online courses uh, regarding the development of countries. Okay. What courses or what study you have done about this field? Uh, I have done uh, architectural uh, imagination from Harvard University. It is a, a course about the architecture of uh, cities and uh, uh, buildings. Then I wow. have done urban design for public good from Delft. Delft University, that is a Dutch university. These are all uh, online courses. Then I have done development economics from MR University, that is an online course, online university from uh, USA. This all uh, wow. helped me to write this book actually. Okay. Means you are engineer and you have done so many studies for this also. Yeah, yeah. I so have... now, uh, my next question is. How the city should be planned? Means uh, a square shape is better or round shape? Yeah, I have. Uh, I am suggesting a round city, a round cities, uh, because uh, basically round shape will be easier to build. Okay, so I mean uh, round shape, round shape. That means it look like zero. Okay, that zero is invented by Indians, and also it look like Ashoka Chakra. Okay, that is why. Uh, that is. Can why you I'm show saying. us the diagram, sir? Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, this is the. Uh, can yeah, you see yeah, take this? Your time. Uh, this is the uh, yes, yes, we can see it. Okay, okay. okay. So, uh, so, so, uh, I will t tell you some uh, something about the cities. Okay, uh, there are uh, some planned cities in India already, like Chandigarh and Navi Mumbai, but they are hmm. not uh, modern cities like in Dubai and Singapore. Okay, so my idea is uh, getting some uh, acquiring some uh, enough acres of land in the nearby cities and uh, making a, a new city in that area okay uh, this city will be better for uh, mumbai delhi chennai kolkata bangalore etc like metro cities only okay so other than uh, so because uh, this cities requires so much of funding 
uh, only metro cities will, will be able to uh, make main uh, in those way okay they have divided the uh, city into industrial area residential area business area utility area uh, because uh, the city should be self sustained okay so uh, industrial area will uh, yeah, industrial area and business area will make sure enough job in the city okay residential area will make sure uh, people will be able to reside in the city city in a very uh, nice manner okay utility area will be having water treatment plants uh, lpg plants lng plant uh, uh, electricity uh, substation and all that okay uh, so other than that i have uh, made a uh, drawing of uh, roads in the city it will look like this okay so it will mm-hmm. look like a spider web and it will very well connect all the cities in a very planned way okay so you can refer to the drawing in the book uh, that uh, that will be a very uh, nice reference also i have mm-hmm. included metro routes uh, in the city i will show you the metro routes uh, it will like a uh, look like a zigzag way okay this is the metro route uh, the, uh, metro will start from one point and uh, finish in the same point itself covering all the cities uh, continuously okay so one person will be able to uh, cover the whole area uh, by just boarding the train in one way itself okay wow means uh, no reverse direction just one direction yeah yeah this just just by boarding the train he will be able to kind uh, of uh, see the whole city within one train great now this this was about cities what about agriculture what about villages can we reform them yeah. yeah yeah sure uh, agriculture the main problem in india is um, uh, many farmers are uh, su- uh, suiciding in india okay so farmers are not getting enough return for their sweat okay sometimes they are getting only 1 rupees for their products the, so they are not able to repay their loans and all that in time so their only way is to get uh, suicide that is the main problem uh, farmers are facing in india okay so what i am uh, suggesting is Uh, government should uh, make a corporation called agriculture procurement and distribution corporation okay so they will uh, uh, purchase the agriculture product directly from the farmers and they will uh, sell it to the public uh, through supermarket uh, through agriculture supermarket in villages and uh, cities okay so they will be able to uh, control the price and uh, control the infl- inflation also okay for any organization you can suggest for that uh agency yeah, i am naming an uh, naming the agency as uh, agriculture procurement and distribution corporation okay, okay. so that uh, agency will be able to uh, acquire the uh, agriculture products from directly from farmers and they will be able to sell to uh, customers all over india through uh, their uh, supermarket agriculture supermarket in towns and villages thank you my next question is we are indians we can't live without gold we can't do our festivals without gold but you yeah, say yeah. that we should reduce the gold imports why yeah, yeah. and how yeah yeah you know uh, india was uh, spent around 3.6 lakh crores in 2011 uh, uh, 2021 22 year okay so that means yeah india is money is flowing from Uh, our nation to other countries in terms of gold so how much of money is going uh, flowing outside so we need to reduce that so i'm suggesting a way for that actually government will be able to reuse the gold around 740 tons of gold reserve is having uh, with us so once we uh, reuse the gold we will be able to uh, control the outflow of money from our country to other nations okay so either the uh, government will be able to the government should make a rules uh, in a such uh, such a way that uh, more than 10 pounds of gold should not be kept at home so the extra gold uh, people will send back to uh, government and government will melt and reuse for others uh, the uh, uh, customers will uh, the people will be able to uh, uh, get money from government for the uh, uh, gold otherwise they can claim the gold and it at any time from the government okay okay so that nice plan. okay my next question is uh, okay all your plans are great 
but what we can do we are not politicians can we change or train our politicians yeah yeah i believe uh, the, that is the first thing we should do because uh, really <laughs> main, main thing yeah main thing is uh, we are our politicians uh, much of the politicians are not literate actually so uh, we should uh, make them uh, lead the nation okay so we should give in, intense training for them in order to lead the nation okay so what i am suggesting is that uh, we government should uh, make some uh, colleges some politic training colleges okay so i am tra- uh, training it as politics uh, training college so uh, hmm. these, these institutions will uh, teach uh, politicians how to lead the nation okay so they will be able to uh, they will uh, i i am suggesting that igams will be able to made uh, a, make a syllabus uh, for this uh, politics uh, training college since it is a management subject and uh, the subject can be included as uh, uh, how to manage the economy of nations how to manage the development of the nation how to deal with the national calamities how to plan the development for 24 24 years ahead and like that we can uh, plan so many things in that uh, course okay it can be a two year or three year course which will cover all the things related to development of a nation and uh, how to lead the nation uh, in a uh, beautiful way okay that's the greatest course content you have said these <laughs> yes, courses sir. not should be only for politicians but for every is and yeah, every person should may take this course <laughs> yes yes okay my last question of the day is if you know the most secure indians that is the government employees yeah, see yeah. politicians will come and go the employees yeah. the government employees will not go yeah. what about their efficiency what about their their problem yeah, can we yeah. change them yeah yeah sure we should uh, 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 actually the problem with the government employees is they lack motivation in the, in india okay so their main problem is performance the performance of government employees are measured by their higher officials only okay so even they are uh, not uh, uh, making performance then also they are getting promotion and increment and all that okay so what i suggest is that uh, their government employees uh, increment and promotion should be based on the performance only so uh, uh, in uh, in my book i am i am suggesting a way for that actually uh, the p- uh, public will be able to uh, measure the performance of government employees okay for uh, i will give you an example yeah, for example one person uh, needed a certificate from a uh, village office so when when he is going when he have gone to a village office for uh, his certificate uh, the uh, after getting the certificate he, uh, the he will get an sms uh, from the Uh, you know, from the mobile app developed by government and uh, he can rate the performance of the government employee from 1 to 10 okay if he has given uh, 7 rating or above 7 rating that means the uh, performance was good okay so all the point in, in a year will be accumulated and if the uh, percentage of um if the percentage is above 75% that means the performance of the government employee was good so he will be given the increment if the uh, point is uh, below 25% means that the performance of the government employees was very bad okay so he will not he will be given warning letter and he will be terminated uh, from the service if it is repeated for 5 years okay that means the uh, public will be able to uh, control the performance of the government employees so that we should do that situation for government uh, public and uh, good working government employees okay yes yes okay. now thank you for this interview and thank you for your book can you show us the book again yeah yeah sure this is the book future india by mr arise peter from india thank you mr arise peter and thanks nell mr arise you have given all of our viewers an assertive fashion We are not politicians, we are better than them. That's all for today. Stay tuned and subscribe for you. Intellectual entertainment. Thank you. Goodbye.